Good evening. Welcome to WJZ.com. It's a cold night now, 32 with some clouds moving in. 31 Belair, 34 in Frederick, 18 degrees still in Oakland. If you like winter, Garrett County is the place to be. <laughs> really. <laughs> Garrett County, for the most part, has the same climate as the northern section of New York State. Not a lot of difference. And they average about 135 inches of snow, by the way, up there. The Baltimore region, the airport, they only average around 21 inches. If you live over near Dundalk, you average only around 14 inches of snow a year. Northern Baltimore, northern Carroll, northern sections of Hartford County, southern York County averages about 38 inches. That's a big difference just in 30 miles around the region. 36 now in Easton, 34 over in Ocean City, 33 over in D.C. A lot of clouds across the region overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow, a system moving in from the southwest and another weaker one across northern New York State is going to combine, may bring us a period of some snow showers or even a little bit of light snow in the afternoon. Unfortunately, the timing is not great for the late day commute, although it happens in the daytime, so there is some solar incoming radiation so it may not accumulate that much in the roads but i do think it's gonna be cold enough so if we get any snow at all tomorrow it could cause some problems between about one and five in the afternoon not much showing here at 2 a.m generally clear skies the clouds come in rather quickly and then they're gone yeah i really could slow, slow, slow that down for you but there is a chance even though we've got a higher pressure you kind of see that you can't believe see believe Beneath that high, there is some precipitation popping up. I even have a little map I put together. Now, this is not guaranteed. By Saturday, we're going to get warmer air coming in from the south and southwest, even warmer on Sunday and early next week. Could be a little rain here by Sunday night, but take a look at this next graphic. I just put this together. It's not going to happen necessarily, but there's just about a 30 40% chance we could see some precipitation. Trace of snow west of us. Could be uh, traced to maybe as much as an inch right along the bay in eastern areas. Possibly, that's why I put a question mark. It's not guaranteed. Only one model showing that, maybe an inch or so out from Cumberland out toward Oakland. So it's possible. Later tonight, we're going to get some new model, new information, and we'll see if this will verify. But we really probably won't know till tomorrow morning, actually. Southwest breeze, five knots in the day. Small cap advisory tonight. Essentially, more warm air coming in. Over the cold air, that's what's going to cause the clouds and light precipitation around the region. Tonight, then, increasing clouds, low around 20, but tomorrow's high, only 34. Some afternoon flurry activity, some snow showers, even a period of some light snow is possible, particularly from the city on east. Tomorrow's high, as you see, only 34. The average high now down to 40. Five degrees. So in the morning, lots of clouds, maybe that snow activity in the afternoon, then it clears out again tomorrow night. And warmer temps for the weekend, 45 Saturday, that's average. 46 Sunday, that's above normal. Look at this, 54 and 58 on Tuesday. Time to break out the shorts again, <laughs> at least for maybe a day. Have an updated forecast late tonight.